Now, the weather is having a big impact on the cleanup efforts. The winds and the water currents were certainly uh, hampering the flow earlier, and it's going to basically determine where the oil finally ends up. Meteorologist Andrew Tut joining us now with more on that part of the story, and it's a changing part of the story, Andrew. Yeah, that's right. We're going to first take a look at where the oil was on Thursday, and here's the oil spill, and you can get a general consensus for how big it is how big it was, that is, and where it was in relation to places like New Orleans and the coast of Mississippi and Alabama here. We're going to fast forward and take a look at Saturday, and here's the oil spill. It's worked just a little bit further off towards the north, and fortunately, we haven't had a chance to get a good satellite image during the past few days because it's been cloudy, but some of the clouds starting to clear out, and by tomorrow, we'll have a better idea of where that oil actually is. Now, as it continues to move off towards the north, it's going to threaten these shorelines here, but if it moves further off towards the south, you might be thinking, well, that's good news. It's staying away from the shoreline, but take a look at this. If it moves further off towards the south, about 50 to 100 miles, it's going to get into this loop current, and it's going to ride that loop current right in towards the Gulf Stream, and that could bring that oil right through the Florida Keys and along the shorelines of Florida, even up in towards the eastern seaboard. So that's potentially the worst case scenario, and what could drive that oil is the winds and we're going to take a look at the winds and by tomorrow morning we're going to see that the winds are going to be blowing from the north off towards the south so that's going to help push it in towards that loop current however the winds will be rather light and as we look ahead towards thursday those winds are going to start to turn a bit and they're going to move from the south off towards the north so during the next few days it's looking a little bit more likely that that oil is going to continue to move in towards the gulf coast shorelines tom michelle